Are you as cold as I am right now? Hmm, did you hear that question I asked? Are you as cold as I am right now? We're talking about as adjective as in this video and adverb as well. You can add that to the list. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. In this video, you're going to get comfortable using the structure as adjective or adverb as. This is a very common structure and we use this structure when you're comparing two things. So when I say two things, we need two nouns and they can be any nouns and we're comparing them using an adjective or an adverb. Now, we use as, adjective as, when the two things that you're comparing are equal. Let's take a look at an example. Now, first of all, we need two things. So let's just take a look at two houses. I could say that this house is as big as this house. So in this example sentence, what's my adjective? Write the adjective down in the comments, okay? What's the adjective? Big, of course. Big is our adjective. Now remember, we use the structure when the two items are comparable. But what if they aren't comparable? What about these two houses? Now, in this case, I can simply make my verb negative. So let's take a look at our original sentence. So remember, this was our original sentence when the houses were comparable. Now, they're not. So what would I need to change in this sentence to make it negative? Hmm, put your answer in the comments. I hope you know this one. I'm sure you do. So I would simply need to take my verb and make that negative. And in this case, I'm using the verb to be. So I would say this house isn't as big as that house. So in positive form, you're using the structure when two things are equal, but you can still use this when two things are not equal, but you need to make the verb negative. Let's take a look at another example. So I need two things. I'm going to use two cars. I can say this BMW is as fast as this Lexus. So here, what's my adjective? Put it in the comments. What's the adjective? Fast. Now, of course, we can use any adjective we want. So let's think of some other examples of adjectives. What other adjective could you use instead of fast? Hmm, what do you think? Anything come to mind? Put an example in the comments. Think of another adjective you could use. Well, I could talk about money and say that this BMW is as expensive. Expensive is the adjective that deals with money. This BMW is as expensive as this Lexus. Perhaps I could say this BMW is as nice as this Lexus. So what adjective did you use in the comments? Now, of course, if these two cars are not comparable in terms of speed, then I can simply make our verb negative and I can say this BMW isn't as fast as this Lexus. And again, I can use any adjective. All right, so now it's your turn to practice. 
I'm going to give you two images and I want you to form a positive sentence using as adjective as. So here are your two gardens, gardens. Now what sentence could you use? This garden, mm, this garden. So take your time, as much time as you need, think about an adjective and put it in the comments below. Make sure you do this, you need to practice this. Did you get it in the comments? So of course, the first adjective that came to my mind was beautiful. We could also have pretty, colorful, lush, well-maintained, and maybe some other adjectives. So I'm looking forward to seeing what you had in the comments. Now, as a final exercise, I want you to take your example and make it negative, okay? That should be pretty easy for you by now. So using beautiful, I would simply say, this garden isn't as beautiful as that garden. Now, I wanted to make this video because in a previous lesson, I covered as much as. And in the comments, I noticed that there were some questions or that there was some confusion and students were using as much as when they should have been using as adjective as. For example, let's take at this comment from my awesome student, Buddha. Now, Buddha wrote this example, but had a couple question marks at the end. So Buddha wasn't sure. And it's good that you guessed or that you weren't sure because there is something a little bit off about this comment. So Buddha said, you are beautiful as much as me. Hmm. Now here, we definitely need the as adjective as. We use as much as when we're comparing to amount. But in that case, with as much as, there isn't an adjective involved. You're simply dealing with the verb, okay? So you can review that video on as much as. But here in Buddha's comment, how can we take this comment and change it so it's grammatically correct using as adjective as? So, hmm, take as much time as you need and then put your answer in the comments. So, were you able to correct Buddha's comment here? The correct comment would be, you're as beautiful as me. You're as beautiful as me. Because we need to use our as adjective as structure in this case. Now, of course, we could make this negative, but I'm not going to because that wouldn't be a very nice thing to say, so I don't want to make it negative. All right, now you know how to use as, adjective as, and you can compare it to as much as to make sure you understand how they're different. Now, before you go, I want you to practice your own example. So think of two things, and then you need an adjective as well to form your comparative sentence using as, adjective as. And of course, take your answer and turn it negative as well. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Now before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, jforestenglish.com and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying! Awesome job adding as, adjective as to your vocabulary and as much as, as well. Look at you, you are coming along nicely. Now, before you go, make sure you subscribe and can't wait to see you next time. Bye.